A millionaire is left utterly stunned when he discovers that his only daughter is living in abject poverty with her twin babies in a rundown old trailer. Without hesitation, he rushes to her aid, unaware that his life will be forever changed from that day forward. As James Jones sliced the steak on his plate and took the first bite of the tender meat, a clinking sound broke the pin-drop silence in his gigantic mansion. He picked up the TV remote and tuned into the state news channel, as he always did. Every evening, James ate dinner alone while he watched the news because he didn't have a family. His ex-wife Amelia had left years ago, taking their only daughter Jade with her because he was a nobody back then. At the time, James was working odd jobs and trying to start his own business, but all of his endeavors were failing. Amelia wanted a good life and was done with him and his struggles, so she divorced him and married a rich man. His finances were not stable, and he couldn't win Jade's custody, but he loved her and sent her gifts on her birthday every year. Years later, when Amelia's husband received a work transfer and the couple relocated to a different state, James lost touch with Jade. He tried calling Amelia to find out where she was, but Amelia didn't return his calls or texts and even forbade Jade to have any sort of communication with him whatsoever. All alone and with nobody to love him, James's only focus became his work. He worked day and night until he became a millionaire. But though he had money, fame, and a comfortable lifestyle, James didn't see the point in all of it when he didn't have people to love him. He arrived home every evening and no one welcomed him. He ate dinner alone while watching TV, then went to bed, woke up the following day, and returned to work. This was not how he had imagined his life to be. That day, while James was watching TV, the news channel was running a report on women empowerment. The reporter had interviewed women from different strata, including the underprivileged, and James was not interested in watching any of it. Is that all they have to show us now? Don't they have something better to report? He grumbled as he picked up the remote to change the channel, but then he stopped. He stopped because he couldn't believe his eyes and the fact that the reporter's next interview was his daughter. Good Lord Jade. James's eyes teared as he watched the report, which mentioned his daughter was living in an old trailer with her twin babies. What? What is she doing there? How can she just... James noted Jade's address flashed at the bottom of the screen, and the next moment, he knew he was in his car. Feeding the location into Google Maps, what was Jade doing in town? Didn't she move with Amelia to a different state? Why was she in such a terrible condition? James felt like his head would explode with his countless questions. He drove as fast as he could in moments that seemed like hours later, he was right in front of the trailer. It was evening and he couldn't see the trailer very well owing to the darkness, but he could still make out its shabby condition. His tears didn't stop as he knocked on the door. A couple of minutes later, Jade answered the door. Dad, oh God, what happened to you? And how did you? James wrapped Jade in a tight embrace, his voice thick with concern. Jade, what happened to you? What are you doing here? Why didn't you reach out if you were struggling? Jade shoved him away, her eyes brimming with resentment. Enough, Dad. You were the one who walked out on us, don't you remember? Mom told me everything. You never wanted us because you loved your business and career more. What's the point of it all now? Is that what Amelia told you? James was shocked. Do you believe that? Of course, I believe mom. She was always by my side when you weren't. James shook his head. If you allow me to explain myself, I want to tell you that it's not the truth, honey. It's not. Are you sure? Where were you all these years? Then James sighed. Can I please take a seat? Before I start, I'm exhausted. Jade opened the door wider without speaking and let him inside the trailer. James spotted the twins sleeping in an old bed in the center of the small space. Before I tell you my side of the story, I hope you take all those negative things about me out of your head. The truth is, Jade, when you were 10, your mother relocated to a different state with you. She never allowed me to contact you. Every year, I would send you gifts. What gifts? So she didn't let you have those presents. Here he showed her pictures on his phone. Every small memory about you is saved on my phone. The pictures we took, the presents I sent you, everything. I look at it whenever I miss you. I used to send you gifts yearly, but after you relocated to another state, I couldn't reach you. I found out about you while watching the news today. 
But honey, what happened to you? What exactly are you doing here? At this point, Jade's tears knew no bounds. She had been wrong about her father. I'm so sorry, Dad. Mom died a few years ago. Cancer. And after that, my stepfather married someone else. I was dating a guy who brought me here after promising we would start a family here and that he would get a good job. We did start a family, but he abruptly left us one day and never returned. This is the only way I could survive on my own. I work as a tailor to support my girls. James held her hands in his. Listen, Jade, we can't change past events, but we can improve our future. You and your children are coming with me. I can't let my daughter live like this. Please, you don't deserve this. I don't know what to say, Dad. I'm so sorry. Perhaps I should have made an effort to get in touch with you. I am so, so sorry. It's okay, honey, he said, hugging her. I love you no matter what. Love you too, Dad, and I'm sorry again. After Jade moved in with James, he offered her a high position in his company, but Jade refused. She was inspired by how James made an effort, and she wanted to do it too. She thanked him for his support and that he sheltered her, becoming the best granddad to his twin daughters. Jade wants to make James proud, so she's learning business basics from him while working part-time as an intern at his company. But whatever happens in the future, whether Jade makes it huge in life or not, she and James are finally happy, and the twins have a devoted grandfather. That's all that matters. After all, nothing feels more precious than a happy family. What are your thoughts on this story? I'd love to hear your opinions, so please share them in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating stories. Stay tuned for our upcoming content. See you in the next video.